Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video, so uh, I wanted to do another one of these kind of like updates here. Um, every time I get 100 Link Level 10 units, I do kind of go over um, kind of like what's new in, I don't know, what do we call it, Link Level Land? What, what should I say? <laughs> but w whatever it is. Um, so there are actually some major changes, some major new stuff. Um, cause we of course did get the version update 5.17.0, which actually updated the power level system a little bit, um, including giving us a lot of extra points, um, via different, like, um, Dokkan Awakenings and Clearing Stage for the first time and stuff like that, uh, we now get um, a lot of extra points. So there's more value in other things besides just link leveling, which is good. Now, at the moment, again, I'm at 2,510. Um, I really am beginning to close in uh, at the end of my box. So I have 2,980 two characters uh there are still some characters i could grind up like i don't know let's just take a look at an lr um what would be maybe like it like maybe like lr krillin right so yeah i could i could grind another prime battle lr krillin fill in one of those spots um i also could just get his unawakened ssr Th there's a lot of different like loose ends around there that i could go to grab one concern, obviously, for me is I am a, a content creator, right? So I do, you know, summon streams and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, when I'm recording, you know, like, oh, like there's like a little bit of like dead time or something like that. You know, I just hit that pause record button. Bam. And we're good. But when I stream, I mean, I can't like, you know, uh, uh, yeah. Hey, guys, we're streaming. I'm just going to pause the stream real quick. You know, <laughs> I'm just going to use uh, King Crimson real fast, guys. Don't mind me. Right. Like it doesn't really uh, it's not going to work like that. So, I, I am hesitant to go, like, you know, like, alright, let's fill the box up to 3,200. Because then, it's like, I have very few summons that I'm able to do. Because, again, I mean, just a relic of 2016 Dokkan. Hey, Amatsu, man. Maybe we could, I don't know, do some stuff for the whales. <laughs> that might be nice. You know, if I could just summon endlessly without having to stop. Because what they do is, once you go 500 over your box face, they stop you from summoning. Which is stupid. Because you cannot enter an event uh, when you're over box face anyway. So them stopping you from summoning serves no purpose, really. I, I, I don't know. Like, I guess, you know, to save server space, I mean, what are they worried about? Like modders or something like that doing like infinite summons over like their box space or something? I, I, I don't know. I, I got no clue. Um, but it doesn't really make a ton of sense. So um, as they give us more box space, I'll slowly get a little bit more characters here and there. Uh, but yeah, again, I am closing on the end of this journey, being able to sort of like actually link level. That's why I was really hoping that they were going to update uh, this system a little bit more here um, and actually give us the ability to, you know, grind power level. That's not just link leveling, but unfortunately, we don't really have the ability to do that. So number one thing, notice that they took away the commas from this and I... It, I have a hilarious story uh, about the, the commas that, well, actually, I can't. Never mind. Uh, but anyway, uh, it looks terrible. It, it actually looks awful. Like, just look look how bad that looks. It, it's just a, a num number vomit is what I call it, right? Like, I have 17,738,000, but, you know, we'd like it if, you know, there was commas there. It makes no sense why they got rid of the commas. It's really stupid. I mean, because it's because of this little bonus button. By the way, th these are the bonuses that you have activated right here. Um, and then we can... What is it? It's this button. This button shows you, you know, at what point you unlock all these. Uh, at 3 million power level, uh, you have the maximum uh, bonuses. You know, which... you know, It's just various things. Uh, you know, you can do a Dokkan event, and I believe you have a 25% chance of getting uh, double metal drops right? Like support items, potential orbs, doing the equipment event. I mean, this, this is a really nice system. Like this is a good like update right here, but I mean, there, there's still just like, it, like it, it could be improved. It could be better, right? Like there's, you know, they give us extra attempts in a lot of these difficult events, I think, which is nice. Although it's kind of like glitched or bugged out right now. So it's not actually live in game. It was, but it was glitchy. So they got rid of it and I guess they're going to fix it. I mean, 
I assume it'll be here for good for anniversary, so it's not really a big deal to me, I guess. But, I mean, we'll, we'll, we should see it soon. Uh, so there's that. But, like, they could just put this bonus button, like, up here. Like, like, why can't the bonus button just be right there? So we have the titles on one side, and then we have the bonus on the other. Like, is that really that hard, Amatsu? Come on, brah, please, Amatsu. I'm, I, you know, I, I'm trying my best here, right? Like, I've, you, you gotta, you gotta work with me at the same time, Amatsu, man, my guy. Um, so what I really wanted from the power level update, by the way, was that we could, I, I thought, um, getting power level from every single stage you've ever done, I think would be a great way. So like, you know, uh, uh, like, even if it's just one point per stage cleared, like, it's like, you know, these would all be a point. Every, every time you clear a stage getting power level, to me, makes sense. I, yeah, it's like, we're training, it's like, we're Saiyans, we're training, dude. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I think that they easily could do that. I also thought maybe giving us points from EZA stages, like every single EZA stage you do, maybe you get like five points or something like that. I think that would reward players who have done the long grind to get to 999 EZAs, which is very difficult for many of them. Um, you know, some of them are impossible. Like, I, I think rewarding those players with a lot of power level would be good, right? And then, you know, there'd be two paths you could go to grind power level. You could do ECAs or you could do link levels, right? I think that'd be awesome. Um, I think that these things still could happen in the future, but it's just one of these things where it's like they could happen in the future or they could not, right? So there's that. Uh, oh, when it comes to the actual updates that they made, I'll just add this into the bottom number. So this one right here, that is Dokkan Awakened characters. So I have 2,596 Dokkan Awakenings. Uh, that used to be 100 points per Dokkan Awakening. Now it's 150. So I got a sizable increase from that. And then the one right above it, this is the first time you've cleared a stage. The first first time stage clear. It used to give you 10 points. Now it gives you 50. Those two changes are definitely significant and very meaningful towards getting free-to-play players closer to that 3 million power level to be able to get all the bonuses. 3 million is very high, by the way. Like, I know I'm sitting here at 17 million, but, I mean, even if you get to a 1 million power level, that's high, that's impressive. 3 million is a lot, so it is nice that they gave that, that extra thing, but, I mean, I would imagine most players are not approaching a 3 million number, because most players don't find... Like, the, the process of link leveling very fun, which I, to me is totally fair and valid. Like, I get that, right? Um, and then, obviously, the top two numbers. Uh, link levels is the third one right here. And then potential system uh, is the, the top one. Uh, those were not updated. Potential system obviously should have been. It's one point per node. That should be, like, you know, five points per node or something like that. Like, it, it's ridiculous that one link level 10 character is worth like 70 rainbow units or something like it's right it's ridiculous it's it's nonsensical um but there we go you know that that's kind of just like updating that in terms of like like you know which stage and like my process for link leveling characters right now um it is mostly unchanged 31 4 i mean global finally does have this and i still think that this is the ideal stage even you know we were several areas ahead on jp right like we lr broly and trunks is out and stuff like that but even still um I do think that 31.4 is the ideal stage to link level. One of the main reasons for this, and why it's still, I think, very smart for free-to-play players to do this, is that you're getting blue and green incredible gems. So you're link leveling, you're getting your blue gems, and you're getting your green gems all at the same time. So that way you don't have to worry about any other quest stages. I do think that there's a stage here and there that, that potentially, I, I mean, could at least be a little bit more stamina efficient, right? Um, I, I'd have to... I'd have to, have to double check what stage. It's one of the more recent ones. Uh, it, I think probably would be a little bit more stamina efficient because there's one more extra fight. But the stage itself takes a lot longer. So I do think, like, overall, it, it would be kind of like a worse... Like, for me, it's a worse link leveling stage. But if stamina is your main concern, it would be a better stage. Although, again, it, it does not drop blue Incredible Gems. That's like... It's like 32-4 or something like that. I, I'd actually have to double... Damn, I... Now I feel like I kind of have to get this at the end of the video, right? Damn. Okay. Um, I, w we'll finish this run. Again, this is how I'm link leveling. Uh, I still really do enjoy the Yamcha Earthbred Fighter strat. Uh, I'm going to clear through all of my Earthbred Fighter characters, get them all link level 10 using this double Yamcha because it's this is like 
the fastest link leveling I, like I, you could do basically it's like these yamchas because the fight starts yamcha instant active skill boom it's done right like this is this so i'm just able to boom 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 rapid fire these off right very easy oh nice a level nine link beautiful beautiful um able to use this to you know get those link levels and uh, very fast uh, very fast and in a hurry. Um, okay, let me just double check again on that stage I'm talking about. It's a stage where there's one additional fight compared to 31-4, but there's just way more enemies, so it takes a lot longer, so it's not really as... Um, it's not as time efficient, but it's more stamina efficient, right? You guys get what I'm saying. So, all right, let me just quickly double check what stage that is. All right, guys, this is that stage I was talking about right here, 33-2, so... Again, this is maybe a month or two away, or it may, potentially even more months than that away on global. Um, but but this is the stage right here, because what this has is one addition. Yeah, this is it. Uh, this has one additional fight, but um, you know, after cooler, remember in in these uh, stages, cooler is kind of like a real fight. Now, when I say a real fight, I don't mean like a red zone fight or something like that. I just mean that like weaker characters so sometimes won't be able to kill. So, like, this Goku, Trunks, and Pan right here, they're, like, SA1, right? Like, they're not, you know, they're 0% in the dupe system, and they don't one-shot him. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Whereas, like, you know, the, the Frieza soldiers and the pirate robots and shit like that, like, they go down with just, like, a normal attack from, like, any character, right? Like, they don't actually have, like, real boss stats. I'm not saying that this cooler, again, is, like, a red zone threat or something like that. But he does kind of have, like, reasonable stats where, like, it needs to be at least a decent character to kind of quickly blow him away. There's only one enemy that's a real enemy in this stage. But then all the rest of these fights are like this, where it's three enemies. That's why 31-4 um, is so fast. Uh, because, you know, Tien and Chaozu both are real enemies with, like, you know, actual HPs. But then after that, it's like three fight like one fight you know against a, just one pirate robot you're out of there one pirate robot you're out of there one pirate robot you're out of there over here it's not like that right all these fights is against three frieza soldiers so this really will just take a while but because there's an additional fight compared to 31 4 that's what makes it more stamina efficient right um even though you know even for free-to-play players so the, the main difference why I would still lean toward recommending 31-4 would be that that stage gives you both blue and green Incredible Gems, which is just so good because the, the stuff you can get with both of those. I mean, LR, Broly, and Trunks, you need green gems to awaken them to LR. Um, and then, you know, with blue Incredible Gems, every time they add new quest mode stages, Elder Kai's, Zenny, all types of resources are available in there. So you're going to want, you know, gems of both. I think, you know, I'll end with this just like always. If you're a free-to-play player, all you do is you use your daily boost. Um, your three boosts per day on 31-4, and link levels, green incredible gems, blue incredible gems should not be a concern for you ever. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks, guys, for watching. The power level grind never stops, although soon I'm getting very close to running out of characters to link level. Very sad times, but like the ancient Mayans said, it is what it is.